Hello, my dear students. A very warm welcome to all my lovely students there. In today's session, we are going to take a look at chapter number four of your moments book that is in the kingdom of fools. And as the name suggests, we can see that this refers to a kingdom where everybody, okay, everybody, including the minister and the king, everybody is a fool. Okay, that is what we get to know on the very onset of this particular chapter. Now, in the kingdom of fools, certainly there arrives two men. Okay, and who are these two? We quickly get to know who are they and what happens there. We'll read through the chapter. But before we start with the summary of the chapter and we get to know what all happens in the story, let me quickly tell you that you all can ace your school exams with the help of an academy and you may take the plus subscription if you want to have a full pledged pradhai throughout the year what you have to do is you simply have to use the code romana 10 to avail 10 percent discount on the subscription okay you can uh, take the academy subscription and it's a plus subscription which gives you access to multiple courses of course there are several other features which i'll quickly brief you in a while uh, apart from that, those who are new in my session, who do not know me, my name is Romana and I have completed my master's from Delhi University. I, uh, uh, I have been uh, tutoring for a while now. It's been more than seven years, three years that I have till now. Okay. Now, uh, to start with, who is the writer? Of course, we all know that before starting a story or a prose, we need to know who has written that story. So, can you guess quickly? Is it Ruskin Bond? Is it T.S. Eliot? Is it K.K. Ramanujan? There should be a dot over here. Or Sylvia Plath. Clearly, it's A.K. Ramanujan. And uh, to tell you that uh, A.K. Ramanujan is somebody who is multi-talented, versatile. He's a poet, he's a scholar. He has, uh, he knows five languages. Okay, I think more than that. But uh, he, he he's multilinguist, multi talented person and uh, so we talk about this tale which was actually originally written in the language Kannad okay so in, it was the tale that we are going to read or well what is the tale first of all so tale is a story that is passed on from one generation to another so folk tales we all know are stories that that can be legend and uh, they can be legend or so they are stories of valor courage something related to the system or society okay so they, they are folk tales and tale relates to stories but a specific kind of story in which we have we they are they have a special specialized trait that they are passed on from one generation to another now this is the famous uh Kannad folk tale adapted from A.K. Ramanujan's folk tales from India this is the name of the main book from which it has been adapted let's quickly proceed with the summary of this particular chapter i'm quite excited to take you through the story this, there's a lot that happens over here a lot of excitement a lot of um you know you you will be amused you will be like what how can this happen so let's read it quickly what happens that there was a kingdom of fools okay there was a kingdom of fools as we get to know within the title itself where both the king and the ministers both the king and the minister were idiots. The idiots. Who are idiots? Like who do not have sense. They lack sense. Okay. They denied justice to their people and reversed everything like they changed day into night and night into day. So what is this? They reversed the order of everything. So whatever they used to do at night, they would now do in, during the daytime. So they'll sleep throughout the day. And the daily chores that they have, the work they had to do, they would do at the night time. Anyone who disobeyed this order would be put to death. And so people did accordingly. Of course. And they, what did they say? That nobody can take his stand. Nobody can question us. You all have to simply obey us. And whosoever wants to uh, go against us, we will be given death penalty. One day a guru and his disciple visited this kingdom. So there was a guru and then his disciple, disciple, Guru Shish. Okay, so this is Shish. Jo guru ke saath apne is kingdom mein pahunchte hai. Chik hai. 
देश मतलब बड़े सरप्राइज हो जाते हैं ये देखकर जो लोग हैं दिन में सो रहे हैं रात को जाग रहे हैं अपना सारा काम बिजनेस मार्केटिंग शॉपिंग गोइंग हेर एंड देर वट एवर दे हैव टू डू देर डूइंग इट यू नो एट द नाइट टाइम एंड देन इन ब्रॉड डे लाइट वॉट आर दे डूइंग स्लीपिंग देन वॉट हैपन देर वॉज दिस मिनिस्टर sorry there was this disciple who was quite excited what made him excited about this place why was he happy to be there because he was a big foodie he loved eating so there was one thing very interesting in this particular kingdom that everything that was there available there was for how much what was the cost of everything one dudu okay that is the currency Now, their surprise doubled when they went to the market and found that everything cost the same. Okay, so everything, whether it be a banana or rice or ghee, it would cost them only one dudu. Okay. so not everything in totality but everything every commodity every item was for one dudu this pleased the guru and his disciple because the system allowed them to buy all the food they wanted for a rupee ek rupaye mein unhone jitna lena tha le liya being a wise and far sighted person the guru said that it was wasn't safe to stay and he also said that this is not going to last what did he say he said that it won't last okay he also said he also said that to deal with these foolish people you need somebody really wise of course they are fools so you can't just they can't justify their actions they because they have no justification for their answers for their actions no justification so you will have to deal with it on your own so he warned him he warned his disciple that let's go from here but he was quite adamant he said no i will not go i'm enjoying this place i'm having meal or you know my tummy full every day okay so he was very happy to be in this place he didn't want to go so he decided to stay on as simple as that the disciple ate his full every day and kept on becoming fat and fat then something amazing you know we had actually happened what happened what was this entire episode so one day a thief thief broke into a rich merchant's house by making a big hole in the wall okay the moment when he was trying to escape with the loot the wall of the old house collapsed on his head and killed him on the spot so there was this thief who got killed due to the collapsing of the wall the brother of the thief came running to the king and pleaded him to punish the merchant for not building a strong wall he is pleading for a for a thief he is saying that my uh, brother got killed and who is to be blamed it is the merchant who is to be blamed of course then merchant was brought to the king so this is in, this very beginning is is problematic here why would you first of all a king would ask him right what was your brother doing in a in the merchant's house what was he why he was not supposed to be there he was he was there to you know rob right so he's not supposed to be there first of all but he didn't question him he didn't question this that why was he there why was the thief there in merchant's house but instead what he what he does is that he simply calls the merchant okay hearing to his brother now so of course he listen listens to do to what the brother says and he calls the merchant the king heard the case and found the merchant guilty of the truth okay uh of course guilty of the thief's death okay and he finds that of course it's merchant whose brick was not strong enough and when he dig a hole into that what happened it collapsed so it was merchant's fault however the merchant put the blame on the bricklayer of course this is a bricklayer who lays the bricks so he says no 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 it's not my fault i did not uh, make the wall i just asked i did not make the wall i asked a bricklayer to make a wall for me so it is a bricklayer so who blames who let's keep the chronology 
Cheops or Merchant blames the bricklayer. Okay. Now, who is the bricklayer going to blame? He is going to blame the girl with jingling sound. Who is that? He said that there was a girl over there who distracted me because of the jingling sound of her anklets. And who is this woman? So now this woman was wearing an anklet and she was making um, sound with her uh, anklet and uh, because she was running here and there and that was creating the sound, is it producing the sound. So she was now an old woman. So what happens then? She was brought to the court. This is brought, bring up, past form. Okay? Do not get confused. So bought and bought, brought me. You are confused. Make sure that bought, B-O-U-G-H-T, bought is the past form of buy. Just a tip of grammar over here. Now, the dancing girl who is now an old woman was brought to the court. She put the blame on the goldsmith. Now, what did she say? It was not my fault. The goldsmith, he made me wait over there and that is why I was dancing. Okay. So, she told the king that she had asked the goldsmith, so it is a jeweler, somebody who makes jewelry with gold is a goldsmith, to make her some jewelry. But he had delayed the work and made her walk up and down the street. So that is why she was walking up and down over the street. What would she do? Okay. The goldsmith was produced before the king and the goldsmith said in his defense that he had to attend a rich merchant's order first as there was a wedding ceremony in his family. Okay. So there was ultimately who was to be blamed? There was this merchant who ordered something. What did he order? He gave a bulk order maybe. And that is why, because he had a wedding in his son, so that was his priority. It was therefore declared to be the merchant's fault, who was none other than the merchant who had whose wall had fallen. So, ye kaun the? Ultimately, ye wahi merchant the, jinke ghar ki wall gir gayi thi, ye inke father the, chinoni ye order diye the. Further, the merchant blamed his father who had ordered the jewelry. Unne kaha ki maine nahi order diye the, mere father ne order diye the. Par ultimately, kya kaha gaya? Before the accusations put on the father would be verified, it came to be known that he was no more. So it was decided to punish the merchant in his place. So he said, no, no, your father is not. He will punish you because you have inherited his sins and his property. This is the You are the one, you are the culprit, you are responsible, so you will be punished for it. But the merchant was too thin for the stakes. The stake is that particular uh, platform on which you, you uh, make someone stand and then you hang them. So, so no logic prevails in this place. So they are looking for, so itna iti lambi kahani hone ke baad, ultimately they are looking for a fat man who can be punished because this man doesn't fit the stake. Great. All right, this is really hilarious and very, like, really foolish. So, you must uh, pay attention to the incidents. Okay. The servant's eyes fell on the disciple who had grown fat, devouring bananas and rice and wheat and ghee for months. So, ultimately, who was caught? This fat person. Who is this fat person? This is the fat disciple who was eating and eating. He had got, he had got money. And with that, those money, because everything was one dudu over here, he could spend one money and get everything. So he was very happy. And he was, he, be, he bloated, he, become, he became a very fat and he was absolutely fit for the stake. He pleaded the king that he was innocent, but nobody listened to him. While he was waiting for his death, he remembered his guru. He remembered, he, he could recall what he had said. He had warned him, saying that this was a place where everybody is a fool so you must not stay here this is not going to last this pleasure is not going to last forever even it's not going to last long okay you will soon get uh, over with all of this fascination but he didn't listen to him while he was waiting for his death he remembered his guru and his group had a vision he was empowered with magical powers okay he was blessed with magical powers so he could see him what happened then? Then the Guru came and with his faculty of wisdom, what he did was he used his word in the ear of disciple and said, he requested the king to put him to the stake first. 
I said, no, 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 no. It's okay. You leave the disciple. Please put me on the stake first. And uh, when the disciple heard this, he said that he was brought there first. So he said, no, 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 you do, you will not be uh, on the stake. I will be the first one to go to the stake. The king was quite surprised. He gave to death. Ke liye itna parishan ho ki mujhe pehle jana hai, mujhe pehle jana hai. So the king asked them the reason to which the guru hesitatingly, like he was hesitant, he didn't want to reveal it as if. So he said that, you know, whoever died on the stake first would be reborn as the king of the country and the one who died next would be reborn as the minister of the country. This is what he said. Okay, so this was absolutely to fool these people who were already foolish. He just played a trick on them. So he said that whosoever went on the stake first will be the king. He will be reborn as the king and the person who goes next will be the minister. Again, because they were foolish and very easily tempted, he decided, of course, he was bewildered at first, but then he said, no, 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 I can't lose this chance. In this janam, in this birth, I am a king, but I want, I don't want to lose it in my next birth. So he discussed the matter and then he arrived at the conclusion that they would go on the stake to be reborn as king and minister. And then they secretly went to the prison and freed the guru and his disciple. The two disguised themselves as the guru and the disciple and got themselves executed. So they got themselves executed. How foolish is that? The people now made the guru and the disciple their king and minister respectively and began leading a normal life. Okay. So now the people understood. Finally, because the leaders were gone now, there was no king, no minister. They realized that yes, guru and his disciple, only these two are the only sane person over here. We should make them the leaders and then everything started working in a normal manner as in the life was changed to day was considered a day and night was considered a night okay that brings us to the end of the story uh, but yes it's a very interesting story the sequence is very important the order in which who blames who and of course the title is very important the role of guru is very important how he tricked the king is very important and as we all know that we'll have mcqs this time we must pay attention to everything that is written in great detail so we must read ncrt at least once what are the true strengths so these are ncrt questions i'll try to discuss this briefly with you all and i'll show you some answers that i have for all of you okay what are the two things the guru and his disciple find in the kingdom of foods so why does the disciple decide to stay in the kingdom of fools? Is it a good idea? So first of all, two strange things that you notice. First, the uh, reversal of day and night. Okay. Okay. Now, after that, second thing was everything, cost of everything was saved. Okay. These are the two important things. Now, why does the disciple decide to stay in the kingdom of fools? Because he was tempted. Everything uh, was the same and he was tempted to stay there. He started devouring everything. He enjoyed bananas, rice and ghee. Is, is it a good idea? It was not a good idea at all. He had to face problem because of that as his far-sighted wise um, uh, guru has already said. Name all the people who are tried in the king's court and give the reason for their trial. Okay, so this is the entire thing. Dhamir Rodaha, the merchant, Bikleya, Ransingal, Goldsmith, they were all tried and they were tried because of the thief died when the fall of merchant fall had collapsed. So we have read this already. I'm just giving you a quick sequence. You must remember the sequence of who was punished first or rather who was called first for the punishment. But then ultimately, he, the person uh, saved himself or herself by putting the blame on the other person. Who is the real culprit according to the king? What do you think? It was the merchant. Right? The merchant was called to be the one uh, to be blamed because his father did it. His father got the wall constructed and he is the one who has inherited sins, his father's sin and his property as well. Okay. Now who remembers? Uh, why, why? When does uh, the disciple remember Guru? Yeah. He's, when he was finally after becoming uh, plump and fat when he was finally going on the stake he decided to call his guru rather he called him in his heart and then that is what guru had this vision and he came to his rescue 
and what had he said earlier he had warned him saying that you know um this is this entire temptation is not going to last forever you must not get fascinated and tempted by these materialistic things because this is end soon this is going to end soon how does the guru manage to save his disciples life of course by fooling these people who are already fools yes so he played trick on them he whispered in his ears that let's play a trick over here let's play a game over here let's say that the one who dies first will become the king and the one who dies second will be the minister and then this kind of made the king think about it and he didn't want to lose his place he didn't want to lose his position his uh, power his uh, kingdom so he said that what he will do he will uh, let them go from the he will free them from the prison and then they will they disguise themselves as themselves as the disciple and the and the guru and then they went on the stake okay so this also tells us that not just the king and the minister but everybody over there was a fool there okay and they were all fooling each other now these are the answers that are there i've provided sample answers i hope you all go through them and i have discussed them in great detail i hope the session and the chapter is very clear to you and even if you get mcqs from these you are in a position to answer all the mcqs so, so what all you are supposed to remember you have to remember the sequence i mean chronology of who blames who then why was it called uh, a place or kingdom of fools so for the title is very very important of course the uh, equation between the uh, disciple and his guru okay so these are important and ultimately how they tricked the king that is also very important okay students so that brings us to this particular uh, to the end of this particular class and let me quickly tell you about the plus subscription that is there for all the learners out there if you want to continue sessions with me like these or with the entire an academy team i mean of course you will have educators on the an academy platform so what are you supposed to do you have to take the plus subscription to stay connected with us and learn from the live comfort of your homes you can also um, get access to multiple courses that are there you have top educators you have regular doubt clearing sessions you have exhaustive coverage of the syllabus you have mentorship guidance study material practice test live test and the course will be divided into batches amazing and of course students you can uh, take note of the revised i mean well uh, we always have discount for your subscription prices please always uh, check the prices the offers that are available whenever you are taking the subscription okay right now if you take the subscription of course you will one thing is for sure that you will get a flat 10% discount if you use my code that is romana10 so do avail 10% flat discount you can use romana10 code and these are the pricing for 3 months is 7500 for 6 months it's 10000 for 12 months it's 15000 okay then 15 months it's 18000 it's always advisable for students to take longer duration subscription so that you avail maximum discount okay this is for plus again this will come down to this amount and 10000 will come down to 9000 15 will come down to 13500 and similarly 40000 will come down to 36000 so you can have a look the maximum number of the duration of the as the duration of the course increases the discount also increases okay so you can take the maximum if you want okay if you have a referral code please insert that so when you are finally making the payment theek hai bachcho apart from that we also have an amazing special type of subscription for all the learners there that is called iconic subscription iconic kya hai this is personalized mentorship personalized learning jisme aapko one on one tutoring hoti hai live doubt solutions hote hain weekly report card milta hai parents connect hai we connect with your parents we update them we tell them about your performance how you are improving and definitely you are going to improve because this, this caters to all your problems all the doubts that you have okay we also have study planners for the students theek hai jin bachcho ko pareshani hoti hai apne liye planning karne mein ki kaise padhai kiya jaye kaise structure kiya jaye unke liye iconic subscription hai aur sare benefits jaise ki top educator quizzes ye sab aapko saath saath to definitely milta hi rehta hai ठीक है बच्चों देखिए आइकॉनिक की थोड़ी सी प्राइसिंग देख लीजिए ये भी थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी सिक्स मंथ सारे ड्यूरेशन के लिए अवेलेबल है सबसे ज्यादा डिस्काउंट आपको यहाँ मिल जाता है 
अगर आप थर्टी सिक्स मंथ का सब्सक्रिप्शन लेते हैं तो आपको ये फिफ्टी नाइन फोर हंड्रेड का होता है आप आई मीन ऑफ कॉर्स यू अप्लाई कोड रोमाना टेन देन यू गेट दिस फ्लैट टेन परसेंट ऑफ ओके एंड फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ इज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड विच विल कम डाउन टू फोर थ्री टू डबल जीरो थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड विल कम डाउन टू थ्री वन फाइव डबल जीरो सिमिलरली यू कैन हैव अ लुक फॉर द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन ओके स्टूडेंट्स so do not forget to use the code and avail flat 10% discount whenever you plan to take the subscription okay students i hope you all enjoyed the class it was a fun story a story filled with fun humor yes and yes i hope you all are cracking it with an academy do not forget to like the session share the video with all your friends whosoever is, is in grade 9 and subscribe to the channel if you have not already Thank you everyone for your precious time take care everybody